very max. Well connected. Rebel Baron, the last one. 1450 meters to race. And away uh, they go. Ideal Secret hesitated. Rebel Baron, a little bit sluggish off the mark. And Cash Tom is already under persuasion to stay in touch. Well connected, Big Bear. Those two go off to the head of affairs. Outside of them, Rebel Baron, after being a little bit sluggish into stride, has rushed off now to go and take the lead. Very Max is fourth. Cash Time was sluggish away as well. Now he's, she's over racing. Then a further length away to Manny Tober and Ideal Secret, after being slowest away, races at the back of the field. It's Rebel Baron in the front. Two lanes clear. Big Bear is second. Very Max has improved a few places to race in third and well connected in the green body. White Sleeves and Cap is fourth and four lengths off the leader. Manny Tobit. Then comes Cash Time and the trailer is still Ideal Secret as they make their way towards the halfway stage, 700 meters out. It's Rebel Baron who's in the lead. Big Bear still second. Very Max in the red. Sheepskin Noseband is third. Well connected. Only four lengths off the leader as they come off the false rail. Then comes Manny Toba. Cash Tom ran onto the heels of Very Max. And Ideal Secret needs to get past them all. But he's only five off the leader. 400 meters from home. Big Bear came into the lead. Cash Tom is very quick to tighten up. Ideal Secret towards the extreme outside is also going quite well. Then comes Well Connected. Manny Toba's next. But Big Bear got first run. Ideal Secret on. On the chase, Big Bear a length in front. Ardeal Secret trying, but he's now not getting any nearer as his effort plateaus, and it's Big Bear who goes on to win. Big Bear beats Ardeal Secret, Cash Time third, well connected was fourth. Seven, Big Bear goes back to back. And he's full value for this win as well. He was well placed by Lyle Hewitson. Sean Terry is the winning trainer. Might be a slow, quiet start to the season for Terry, but just you wait. Big Bear, the son of I Await the Dawn, uh, owned by Chris Van Eekak and Bruce Garner, bred by the Summerhill stud as Ace Them, and Ace Them with an emphatic exclamation mark. Second number three, Ideal Secret. Then came Six Cash Time. Interesting run from him. I think he's still a bit wet behind the ears. Number four, Well Connected, was fourth. And that was pretty much the story in race number eight. So the winners in the funny cake colors, it's Big Bear who cleared away. He got first run. Ideal Secret threatened for a while, but his effort plateaued over the final 100. Cash Time had a short burst that didn't go on with it, but Big Bear just kept on running, and he seemed to get stronger as the race went on. Three-year-old son of Await the Dawn has scored back-to-back -back victories. He's handled this inside track perfectly under Lyle Hewitson for trainer Sean Terry, bred by Summerhill Stud and owned by Chris Van Kirk and Bruce Gardner. He's beaten home number three, Ideal Secret, who's opted to come on the outside of the track and appear straight in for Michael and Adam Azzi. Back in third was number six, Cash Time, for Gary Alexander, Mark Khan, and for to the four, well connected the favourite, for trainer Mike DeCock and Cullen Murray. Just a reminder for all those that are involved and interested in winning eight houses, I'm sure there are plenty that want to win eight houses. It's all totes and betting world bets, just to clarify that. So if you've got a losing total betting world ticket in front of you, you can hand it to one of the tab or betting world employees and you'll be in the hat to win one of eight houses on Gauteng Sansui Summer Cup Day, which I've been reliably informed is only 12 weeks away. Returning into the winner's area, number seven, Big Bear, three-year-old colt by Await the Dawn out of Gamalaika by Northern Guests. He was bred by the Summerhill Stud. Well done to the winning owners, Chris Van Eekake and Bruce Gardner. Nice to have Bruce on course to lead in as winner. Sean Terry is the winning trainer. Well done to the team on course for their winner, Monique and Robin. And it's a good ride from Lyle Hewitson. Big Bear, too strong, uh, wins race number eight. Numbers you need, seven, three, six, and four.
Number seven, Big Bear, the son of Await the Dawn, has come through to score back-to-back -back victories. He's now won two from three starts for trainer Sean Terry. It's Lyle Hewitson doing the duty this afternoon. Another winner for Summer Hill Stud. Beautiful, strong individual. And I was a little bit concerned about this inside track today, but he's handled it very well. And I thought, nicely handled by you too, because you got him out and you got him into a good position. Yes, thank you so much, ma'am. Um, you know, firstly, I've just got to say a big thank you to Mr. Terry. Um, Samanga unfortunately took another ride as this was supposed to carry 52 and um, then I picked up the phone and you know I have done a lot of work on him and I just begged Mr. Terry for the ride and I'm just so grateful I got this opportunity. He's a strapping individual, a lovely son of Away at the Dawn and um, he looks very progressive and like you said uh, we had a perfect run in the race you know. Um, I actually looked at the race and I thought maybe I'll give him a chance and uh, Mr. Terry being the master is a, he corrected me very quickly and he said no we're going forward and things worked out for us. Top of the straight, uh, I think it was race over. Absolutely. He's got a lovely action, and uh, I think he's going to certainly go on from here. He could even be one of those that competes throughout the season in the features. Yes, um, I think you've, you've read the team's mind. You know, He's definitely uh, one of those for the future season for us. Um, like you say, progressive. He's still a bit of a cultish horse. So, um, yeah, that just, I think that is a bit of class for him. And, you know, this was a nice field to, to beat so convincingly. Congratulations to you. Well done. Thanks very much. Um, well done to Monique. This is, this is her big baby. Um, from day one, she loved him, and I'm just grateful I could bring it home for her. Uh, to Mr. Gardner, Ms. Vanikirk, a lovely individual, and I, I hope it goes on for you guys. And then, last but not least, my sponsor, Evan Chair. Thanks so much. Well done, Lyle. Thank you. Congratulations. Bruce Gardner on course today to lead him in. I know you were at Gravel when he won that small feature, but uh, I think he's nice, Brucey. I think you've got a nice horse on your hands. Yeah, Jules. Uh, I'm very chuffed with him. He, he, he's way short of his best here. Um, second run uh, was a cracker on the on the poly but i must say a big thanks to chris uh, and sean they we have a system in a very amicable way that i buy into horses that i like and, and they let me in which i'm very appreciative for to mick uh, you know i'm a bigger weight the dawn fan and mick breeds them he gives them good bone i mean he's a brute of a horse and he's he's athletic with it so very chuffed and thanks to sean well congratulations to you and i think when he matures he's going to be a nice individual so let's hold thumbs and hopefully we'll see him soon on the track in one of those minor features here on the half -half. I've been part of those stories. I'll wait for them to unfold. <laughs> well done, Bruce. Well done to Bruce Gardner. Well done to trainer Sean Terry. Chris Van Niekirk in partnership as well. So well done to Chris Van Niekirk. And it's apprentice Lyle Hewitson that comes through for trainer Sean Terry aboard number seven, Big Bear.